Iran has made a huge mistake as China is all set to turn it into a China-controlled surveillance state. Iran has offered its soul to China on a platter and the red rogue Middle Kingdom is all set to buy out a sanctions crippled Iran for a fair price. As reported by TFI earlier, China is buying out Iran and working to make it China's client state much on the lines of Pakistan in the next 25 years. This is a worrying development for the free world and democratic superpowers as Iran turning into a North Korea in West Asia will have far-reaching consequences for countries like India, US and France among others. According to oil price, China is all set to convert Iran into a full-blown surveillance state with just as much surveillance over Iranians and the entire region as there is over the Chinese citizenry presently if not more. This building of Iran in to an espionage capital of the world by direct Chinese involvement no less has been facilitated under the super secretive yet tremendously strategic 400 billion dollar 25 year deal between China and Iran if the first phase of the said deal was supposed to buy out Iran the next phase that of espionage in a 5000 kilometer radius around Chabahar is set to make Iran and its cities one of the most surveilled ones in the world oil price has reported the mass surveillance, monitoring and control systems to cover Iran's population is to begin its full rollout from the second week of November. As per a source, the plan is for nearly 10 million extra CCTV cameras to be placed in Iran's seven most populous cities to begin with. This plus another 5 million or so pinhole surveillance cameras to be placed at the same time in another 21 cities, with all of these being directly linked into China's main state surveillance and monitoring systems. This will enable the full integration of Iran into the next generation of China's algorithmic surveillance system that allows for the targeting of behavior down to the level of the individual by combining these inputs with already stored local, national and regional records on each citizen together with their virtual data footprints. The most worrying aspect of this espionage super facility in Iran's Chabahar is that work on it will start from November's second week if all goes well and it is poised to be one of the biggest intelligence gathering listening stations in the world. The facility will employ Chinese intelligence officials as the bulk of the workforce and Russians will also be employed for handling equipment and technology. Interestingly, a minimal number of Iranians will be involved in the espionage center chosen from the top ranks of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in training only. The intelligence gathering center operated by the Chinese will have a near 5,000 kilometer radius range focused out of Chabahar where India too has built a geostrategic port. An Iranian source was quoted as saying this will allow the station to intercept, monitor and neutralize the C4ISR that is the Command, Control, Communications, Computers, Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Systems used by NATO members and associate members including US friendly countries in the region most notably Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Israel. China can therefore monitor and disrupt communications of its enemies across an area ranging from the edge of Austria in the West, including Greece and Turkey, to Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia and Kenya in the South and back to the East across all of Afghanistan, India, Pakistan and Thailand. We already know how China will buy out Iran for a whopping $400 billion, which will also allow it to build military bases and place its armed forces in the country at will. With the latest espionage angle of the secret deal getting leaked, however, China has been exposed as a country which is buying Iran to essentially carry out espionage not just within but also the entire West Asia, also known as the Middle East. What is most worrying is Chinese involvement in the strategically located Chabahar where India is developing a prized port. The red rogue country's ability to now monitor and gather intelligence from even South Asia including India while it strategically and militarily bases itself out of Iran is 
incredibly worrying. The entire network of Chinese operated intelligence gathering and monitoring from Iran, however, is directed at West Asia and the Gulf, not to mention the American and Israeli interests in the region. With the US mediating between Israel and other Arab nations, the region might just be on the verge of settling its civilizational enmity and ensuring lasting peace. Iran, however, is not happy, which is why it has allowed China to buy it out, apart from the crippling effect of sanctions on its economy. China is a new player in the region and it has entered with massive and far-reaching disruptive plans.